I started it. Here you go. Okay. So primarily for any illustration I go about, this is the same practice or the same fundamentals I do or go through when it comes to the beginning and the final ending of a drawing. So as you can see here, usually start with a blank canvas. I prefer um, a colored sheet, but white's just as fine. Um, as you can see, I started with a rectangular box, 3D rectangle. And uh, usually when I do heads, I usually like to do circles, but at the same time, you can get the same aesthetics as you see me doing the, the fundamental line works here, but just with the rectangle. And this technique is kind of considered caricature or um, yeah, basically caricaturizing something. Took a long face. And as you can see here, I started throwing in the eyes. The proportions are there as well as the chin and the nose. I'm trying not to go as fast, but this thing's really hard to not stop. There we go. And so I got the fundamentals of the head down and then even I just started adding the pencil top of the head. And as if you notice, I'm very, very gestural with my sketch. You know, there's a lot of mistakes. You know, you could even see areas that I won't color in. But as long as I get the main ideal, you know, once the main ideal is there, I'll go ahead and just start filling in some value just to break in the, the design and form, seeing if it's proportionately good. To be honest, I kind of would, yeah, I intentionally would high on the back of the head to make it look like it was a pencil eraser head. But after the sketch is done, as you can see, I'll begin the ink process. This process is usually my favorite and it's the most important, I would definitely say. Um, you gotta make sure everything is um, clean and uh, balanced, I would say, because this is where the final illustration will come about and as you can see there, once I do the illustration, once the outline is fully complete, I'll go ahead and throw in some colors on a different layer. That allows me to be more flexible with the colors and as well as play around with colors. Um, and even so, it kind of helps build the artwork itself. So I'll even go back and work on the outline just to do some details and seeing where I could add on more. The point of this is to rework it so you add texture and value, but without doing too much to it to make it overwhelmingly detailed. And as you can see here, I was experimenting with different styles of how the brush or how the pencil would look. And uh, at this stage, I really didn't care how digital it looked. I just really wanted it to have a parody look to it. I was having fun with this one. And uh, from there, I went ahead and even added some value to everything where it just gives it that more lifelike look. You know, a lot more values into it really does make a drawing different. For example, from beginning, no values to values. You definitely see a dramatic difference. And all this is done in layers. So it's very easy to go ahead and rearrange things or edit. Sometimes I do like to add white highlights or some kind. As for this one, I guess I didn't follow through with it. I, as you saw, I started it, but I guess I didn't feel like I needed it, you know. But those are nice to have if you ever do um, stickers, in essence, or any kind of prints. I found an easier way to do this. I, this is back when I was beginning Procreate. I know there's like an easier way to do this now. Um, but anyways, as you can see here, this is a fun drawing that I made and I'm going to be using for my art course and workshops primarily because I think it kind of looks like me and it's a cool little expression, you know, little pencil head, got a little bite off on the top. And then there's this guy. I think it's another pencil I've drawn. I think I just combined it, the layers together to save some time. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.